Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to make this watch link design into a ring and a bracelet. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start with the ring first. Uh, we're gonna use the circle and making the diameter for 60 millimeter. And you do want it to work on whatever uh, ring size that you want to start with. So for this one, so I'm going to uh, 3D scale it up for whatever thickness that you want for your uh, ring band. And just a little bit over 1.5 and making a copy. So we have something like that. I also wanted to draw a straight line and I wanna use the polar array and see how many sections that will need for this one so let's give it a try we want to use the polar array the center is zero and let's try 10 of them and see how big of the lens that is so the 10 look good there and uh, i think this is a decent length so i'm going to use that so let me click that and i try to make everything right in the center so i'm going to rotate this one for 18 degree so then that will be in the center um, for the area that we're going to design and i'm gonna use in those two and trim it off this one so we don't have to deal with the rest of the line so let me go ahead and delete all of this I'm going to use a rotate tool and snapping into this zero and make sure the copy equal yes. I'm just going to move it out a little bit like this and then I'm going to uh, mirror to the other side and something like this. Uh, the reason is we are going to uh, use the curve in between here and I want I do not want to over those two lines that we previously set it up. So I'm going to use those two curve and trim off this area here and here and try to use the blank man and we want blend between here and here and we actually want them to come in back a little bit so we don't want to pass that line over there and let's click OK and again I'm going to do on the other side and bring it back to the line over here All right, and let's go ahead to join everybody. Now to make it into the solid, we are going to use the extruded planar curve straight and I'm going to set it up the extrusion for one millimeter on each side so the thickness will be two millimeter. Use the fit edges and set it up for point two and let's fit the edge on one side first and see how does that look. If that look okay to you, we are going to fit it on the other side. So this is the one of the element that we are going to do the design. I'm going to set the stone here. You can watch the video for how to making a diamond. I'll put a link on the right top corner or you can download a stone for this practice and the link is in the description below. So I'm going to import a stone and I'm going to bring stone uh, back about this size uh, just a little bit smaller than our link and I'm going to bring the stone up here you try to do is having the girdle sitting on the surface something like this so coming at the front view and I'm also going to draw the cutter something like this follow the stone shape and going straight down like this and using that line, we are going to use the command revolve and snapping into the zero and do 360 degree and make sure you cap on both sides. So now we have this one here, just making a copy by using the rotate tool and make sure that the copy is equal. Yes. And we want to moving the stone to the side over here. And to be symmetrical, I'm going to use the mirror command to mirror to the other side. Now we need to have the bead right in the middle. So I'm going to draw the line, something in between like here and going inside of the shape like this. And basically I'm just going to pipe in this one. Now I want to move the pipe going up something like this. So that will be a B right in the middle of my stone. And again, I'm going to use the rotate tool and rotate one to the side for something like this. Double check if it is the right position. If it is, 
it does, let's go ahead to mirror to the other side. And we want to select all four of them and mirror to the other side as well. So then we will have the first link there. I want to make a copy and hiding and past and hiding one of them so we can use that shape later. But in this one with the song setting, I'm going to using the Boolean difference and difference out this one, this one, and this one. So that way I will have uh, the stone sitting in there if everything look good to you and we can just Boolean union on this element. Okay, so let's give it a try. We wanna go over here and let's do the polar array. Snapping into the center and we want 10 of them so they will like almost touching each other over there. I also want to bring it back to the shape that we just hide it and bring it down somewhere about here. You want them to like slightly overlapping so you will have a better casting. And let's do polar array on this one as well. We want to center to be zero, the same number for 10. So now with all of this one, I'm actually going to rotate it for 18 degree. So then they will be right in the middle for each of the shape. And then I forgot to uh, polar array the stone. So let's do the polar array again. So all of them will have stone. And if that look okay to you, let's go ahead to mirror that to the other side. So then we will have this ring perfectly for the size with all the link there. Now this type of a ring, it's hard to size. You almost need to rebuild if it's the size is changing. For making the bracelet, we simply going to pick up those link. And those three stone, and I'm going to copy them to the other layer. And let's turn this off. And we are going to look at the top view. You can draw whatever the length for your bracelet. So I simply going to draw a minor, a draw a curve going something like this way. And I'm going to move my link to the beginning. If you look at the uh, front view, you notice that that's a, a angle there that we don't need it because the link is almost flat. So I'm going to rotate this guy and bring it back something like this. We also need to have this having a little bit more room because it's for the bracelet. If you don't have enough room, it will break easy. So before we are doing anything else, I would like to using the cylinder and to making a pin over there, radius about 0.4 millimeter or 20 gauge. And I want to having a pin over there. And this pin can be coming out a little bit. And then I want to make a copy to the other side. So I simply wanted to mirror that pin and snapping into this midpoint and that's moving into other side. All right. So for those pin, I'm going to making a copy first and hiding one of them. And then we are going to use a bowling difference. So this, this, this will be difference out from here, here, and here. So now if you're looking at the perspective and then I have the pin over there, then what I like to do is giving a filler edges. So you will have better rendering looking here. So I'm going to coming over here and doing the filler edges here as well. And then we can bring the pin back. And for those pin over here, we actually want them to be a little bit shorter for the rendering purpose. And again, I do want to fit the edges as well. And let's try something a little bit small. So let's try a 0.1 millimeter. And then we'll get something here and here. And coming over here, we're going to do the fit edges as well for 0.1 millimeter. This is just look better for the rendering. As you can see, if I do the render view, you will feel like this is something, this is two different material over there. All right. So once you set up everything, uh, make sure that it's in the right place. And we actually need another one. I forgot over here. So I'm going to using that one and to be mirror to the other side. So all we need to do is bowl in different this one out of this one. Okay, so now we have everything. Let's go ahead to group them temporary. And I would like to 
make sure that it's aligned with the curve that I go into uh, array. So let's give it a try. I'm going to use the transform that you have array along curve and I'm going to pick up the base. I don't know how many we needed, maybe 25. So let's give it a try. And apparently 25 is not long enough. The base curve is here and 28 here. All right, so it's pretty close. Now notice that this is for the rendering purpose. So let's go ahead to ungroup this one and we need to delete the very last one here. Okay, so now with this, uh, everything seems all right. Let's take a look on the perspective. Uh, all we need to do is the clasp. So I have a clasp class showing you uh, 11 different type of a class and how to make it and you can actually download a file and it's a 3dm file you can use on your design so all you need to do is bring in the file and you wanted to draw a straight line right here somewhere inside of that plate and you wanted to trim the extra here and extra here and all you need to do also is to uh, using the cap command. So then this will be solid. On the other side, again, I'm going to bring this one, download directly from the program, from the course. And you can bring it here. And all you need to do again is draw a straight line coming over to here. And we want to use this one to trim off this and that. If you're interested in the class course, and I will have the description on the right top corner, and we want to bring this back to the right place. So let's take a look on the render view. Then you will have the class if it's ready to go. Then you will have this ready for the rendering. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave the comment. Let me know how you like the video and share my video so I can reach more people. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.